Hello, and welcome to our first edition of Couchside Chat, where in each video, we'll be chatting about a latest release or an important product update with a special guest. Today's Couchside Chat will focus on the latest release of Broadside Publish, which is packed with great features and functionalities to help media owners and users stay connected to Publish while they're on the move or away from their desk. Hi everyone and welcome to our very first edition of Couchside Chat. Despite the challenges we've all been facing lately and the fact that all broad signers are safely working from home, we're all still hard at work, collaborating now more than ever to ensure that we continue supporting our customers during these difficult times. We therefore wanted to take an opportunity to share the latest product updates. This includes best practices and new features that can help you stay productive while working remotely, Broadsign Publish being one of these helpful tools. Before we dive into the latest release, my name is Sabrina and I'll be your host today. I work on the marketing team here at Broadsign. I'm happy to be joined virtually, of course, by Martin, Broadsign Published product owner. Hi Martin, how are you today? Sitting comfortably on your couch? Hi Sabrina. Yes, I'm doing great and I'm super comfy on my couch right now. <laughs> Thanks for the virtual invite. Of course. We're e quite eager to discuss the recent release that will positively influence the way media owners and their customers engage with Publish. So without further mm -hmm. ado, let's get started. In this latest release, Broth and Publish users can now rely on the message creation tool from beyond the workplace. That means users can manage and perform tasks from remote locations, giving you, media owners, and your customers the utmost convenience in uploading assets, creating, and approving messages. Let's take a look. Martin, Publish is now mobile friendly, which is so mm -hmm. exciting. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that means for media owners and their customers? Yes, that means that now media owners can finally go to the same great broadside published website, but using different devices like laptops, tablets, or even smartphones to publish the localized messages on their screens. Great. So on screen here is a new product screenshot, and I've noticed that some of the user interface has changed. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the changes are? Yeah, so the entire interface has been rewritten for three very good reasons. First one being that it was uh, obviously to make it mobile friendly. Uh, we needed to redesign the front end so that it can adapt to different device sizes, right? The mm -hmm. second one is that we wanted to restructure the code a bit to get rid of some legacy code and to match new performance standards. Uh, finally, we, uh, while we were at it, like, we wanted to refresh the style a bit and update uh, things like the icons and make some interaction uh, more accessible for touch devices. Got it. So this is especially useful during this time as non-essential businesses are closed until further notice. Mm -hmm. um, so should they wish to create a message with a return date but need to update the date per, you know, different government directives, this could be done from their mobile phone directly. Is that correct? Absolutely, Sabrina. The, the situation we are now living just augments the already existing need to schedule away from the office, right? Mm -hmm. uh, more and more people are now using mobile device and tablets as their primary device at home. Uh, so in, in a more regular situation, local users have already reported that sometimes they only have access to one desktop shared with several users. So uh, that's where Broadsign Publish on their mobile would allow them to make quick updates without having to fight over a workstation. But others have reported that sometimes they only have time to look into their messaging ideas once they are at home, like right now, after work. So again, here, it goes back to the fact that at home, the main device is now mobile device. Understood. So if we keep with the remote theme, another useful feature from this release is remote emergency activation. In some cases, certain published customers might want to extend emergency message activation to non-published users like security guards, for instance. So how does this new feature work? So this new feature is really awesome. We, we really thought about expanding the original uh, emergency messaging offer. So what you know about emergency messages continue to uh, function the same way. But on top of that, you are now uh, being able to obviously manage it from your phone because now Bloodsign Publish is mobile friendly. Uh, but the problem remains for some users that would typically need to activate them, the security guards 
like you mentioned. They are the ones that typically have a documented procedure in case of emergencies, uh, but they don't have, uh, uh, but they have a lot of other things to manage actually. Uh, so this needs to be especially extra simple for them. So using a two-factor authentication, users like security guards will now be able to send an activation code SMS, a text message directly to broadside published servers, which will then activate the associated messages. So we're removing time-consuming steps like logging in, navigating to the right tab, selecting the message, et cetera, to help speed up mm -hmm. the process when an urgent message needs to take over? Absolutely. So no need to log in into the app and search appropriate message, like you said. Everything can be prepared in advance and only a message text is needed to, during the emergency. Great. So that's super helpful. Now let's dive into the product itself. Publish is now integrated with Google Drive and Dropbox. So can you tell us what some of the benefits of this integration are? Yeah, we, we noticed during interviews with local users that most of them are already using Google Drive or Dropbox to access creative that were shared with them. Uh, so it quickly became a no-brainer to make it possible to import your assets from those platforms into Broadside Publish. So now you don't need to download them locally and upload them again in Broadside Publish. You will simply import them. Great. Easy. The next feature that we're going to discuss benefits both published admins and local users. So as a published administrator, it's important to keep your network organized in descriptive folders, especially when sharing with your customers. However, local users can modify selections within a shared folder and sometimes accidentally unselect a screen. So can you tell us how the new screen groups feature prevents this potential mistake? Yes, so screen groups are, like the name suggests, a grouping of screens that the end user cannot dissociate. It will allow media owners to make sure that an entire set of screens always get targeted together. That is especially useful when your screens are in sync. You don't want the published message to be different on those screens. It can also be useful if you want uh, some users to target screen based on different parameters. For example, if you have users uh, that could target all of the screens at a national level, uh, but all the screens that are specifically next to a catch register, then if you prepare in advance a group with all those screens already included, it becomes very easy for those users to target all of them in a single click. Got it. Great. So I think we've successfully painted the picture. How about we jump into a demo? Absolutely. So let me share my screen here. There you go. Uh, so before even logging in into the app, you will notice that now we have a little nice accessibility feature here. You can double check your password that you just typed in. Uh, it can always be useful. Once you're in, you can experience that everything is more snappy. Everything is more beautiful. Um, we revisited some interaction, like I mentioned, for touch devices. Uh, so now you can always open the comment panel using the comment button from here. So no need to uh, select it first and then open the comment panel. Uh, now if you click on the uh, item itself, on the message itself, you will see more information about it. So you can see the owner here and the size of the message and you can still access to the, the tools uh, that you had before to leave comment or even delete the message from here. If you don't like what you're seeing, you can always click on the edit button and start the process of editing your message. The next thing I should show you is obviously the mobile version, right? So here for the uh, purpose of the demo, I will use uh, the Chrome tools to emulate a mobile device and it will show you how it will look like. So if I inspect here, I have chosen iPhone X. So you can see that I can create messages, uh, but from a mobile device using the same simple four steps. And if you uh, cancel here, you will see the list of your uh, actual messages. You can still uh, toggle to a list view. You can access all of the other page that you're used to from your mobile. So that's as simple as that, more, uh, more simple, easy to use from a mobile. If I exit the mobile device, I will now show you uh, how you can connect to Dropbox and import some of your 
So let's say I'm creating a new message and I don't find the content that I would like to use. I can here upload and you can see that I have the option for Google Drive, Dropbox, or even uh, import from a link. So if I click on Dropbox, Dropbox here, I can connect to it. I need to accept to give permissions. And now I'm logged in and I can see my Dropbox folders. I can navigate into it and select the template I want to import. And there you go. It's now imported into Publish and I can start editing it. So that's it for me. I will now pass it back to you, Sabrina. Great demo, Mathe. I have here on screen a couple of images which were actually created by the Broadside Marketing team in collaboration with you, Martin. These are screenshots of pre-made HTML templates that are completely customizable and ready for use right away. Yeah, we thought it was important for everyone to have access to something simple and ready to go to help out. A lot of companies right now, they want to display supportive messages or new directions to their employees and clients. It is still important that uh, you remain in control of the quality of what goes on your network. So uh, it's important to share pre-made HTML templates to your users so that they can, yes, localize a message, but also uh, keep uh, the focus on what they're, they're good at. Uh, you can obviously use them as is or modify them to your liking and share them with your clients. It's up to you. And should you wish to download them, you can find them in the link in our blog post. Yes. So I want to thank you very much, Martin. That wraps it up for us today. It was an absolute pleasure speaking with you, and I look forward to the next release. Nice. Thank you, Sabrina. And thank you to our viewers. If you haven't done so already, be sure to read through the blog post for more details on how the latest published release can support you, media owners, and your local users. Until next time, this has been our first Couchside Chat with Martin Nadeau, Broadside Published Product Owner. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>